Okay guys, so the spark plug is in place and it's time for some petrol and some oil and for the grand finale itself I'm gonna crank this and we'll see how it's gonna work. I left the spark plug cable unplugged on purpose because I'm gonna crank the engine one or two times without the spark plug just to make few turns and I'm gonna fuel the oil filter this way and then I'm gonna top up the I'm gonna top up with oil and I'm gonna attach the spark plug cable. It seems to be working for now. I have to try to adjust the carburetor because it is not set properly. Thing, and we'll see what is gonna happen. I'm gonna continue with the testing tomorrow. So this is gonna be for tonight. I haven't fully assembled it because I can't believe that this thing actually runs the way it's supposed to run. So I just wanna give it a few more tests and then I'm gonna continue and assemble it. But I've mounted this hood over here. It is crucial to be on its place because it uh, actually helps to cool down the engine because it is air cooled and if this thing is not mounted the fan over here doesn't do anything probably a little bit of a joke a little bit of a throttle and and surprise something is not quite right again okay so i think i found the problem the spark plug is so this is full the engine is full with petrol again i'm gonna give it a crank you can see how much petrol is in the, the cylinder I'm gonna mount the, the spark plug again and I'm gonna see if it's gonna start. Okay, so I have uh, mounted the spark plug, it's back on and I'm gonna give it a try one more time. I don't know if he's gonna have enough power in the battery but I'm guessing that I'm gonna have to disassemble and clean the carburetor one more time because I did that the last time when this thing was, was behaving this way so a little bit of a throttle again. I won't get the choke. Okay. 
No. I'm gonna let the battery charge for a bit and then I'm gonna try again. Well guys, I needed two hands so I uh, did not film the disassembling of the carburetor. As you can see I've disassembled it already and I was right. The strange thing is that I cleaned this carburetor right before I disassembled this engine because it was filled with debris and stuff like that. And now I will show you. It looked like brand new but when you turn it you can see underneath there were lots and lots of debris in there so during the night this thing the valve did not shut and this thing was overfilled with you can see probably I don't know how to get this light in there Either way, this is full with uh, petrol, so this was the main reason that the engine won't start properly. As you can see, uh, I installed brand new fuel filter over here, but probably this is filled with garbage from before. And now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna clean it properly because I drained this hose beforehand, but obviously it was not enough. And I think this is the, the cause of uh, all my problems. So I'm gonna get rid of this thing and I'm gonna try again. Okay guys, so I'm gonna make a quick update on the situation with the lawnmower. After the problems that I had this morning with the carburetor, I was able to get this thing running again and I'm gonna gonna show you that it actually cuts, it runs. Well guys, this is how it looks uh, now, this low. I saw it before and finally I have managed to cut the grass properly and this is just beautiful. I'm sorry about uh, the noise but it's a bit windy and windy and today we have some So look at this, just beautiful.